1991 Nautique Excel. White hull, white deck, red main stripe with a black top stripe. We've graphic the boat in Barefoot Nautique. Uh, black over black checkerboard from 1991. Um, we actually got the boat in 2019, the fall of 2019. And it came originally on a single axle trailer. The factory single axle trailer is pretty rusted through. Um, and had a 351, the stock 351 in it. And we'll get to the, um, we did repower it with a six liter, but we'll get to that. Um, wet sand and polish and redid the, just got the gel coat up to, up to snuff. The neat thing about this boat was it had been parked inside for a really long time. It actually just had not been used for a really long time. And uh, it's the original rub rail. Um, and a lot of things are, are original on the boat. Um, we'll go through the interior and the carpet and all that fun stuff. But um, it was just diamond in the rough. So brought it back to what we thought was in a really appropriate level uh, to make a nice, um, extremely fast barefoot boat. It originally had a dual lower pinstripe, a, a half inch and a quarter inch, and then a half, big half inch up there. And when I was restriping it, um, I really liked it with just the single quarter inch pin and no pinstripe on the top. So this is a not necessarily a rare boat, but a good uh, example of they striped the boat nicely at the factory and the gel line is in, is, is really nice. It didn't, wasn't a Friday boat or something. It was all squiggly. I'm around the transom. It's a nice Barefoot Nautique logo, competition Barefoot Nautique logo. Um, we have removed the air guides on the back. It does have twin GPS speedometers. When we got the boat, it had a little bit of cracking around the rudder port and the strut. Um, so we replaced the strut and uh, put a G23 rudder in it and just uh, helps the boat turn quite a bit. This, the the boats from the factory were under ruddered and were with the deep V just did not turn that well with, with the stock rudder like off of the ski nautique which is what it was running. Come down this side. There is an imperfection here. Wet sanding is just starting to go through the red a little bit. Until it's an Excel by the Excel logo. If it was a footer, it would say BFN. Uh, beyond that, I have been, there's literally no difference between the boats. This is 14045. If it was a bare footer, it would say 13. Barefoot Nautiques or closed bows and a straight windshield and uh, probably a big block. I need to confirm that, but I know Excels, you can get, they're kind of a la carte, and you could get a straight windshield, you get a walk through. You get the small block, you get a high output, high output small block, or the 454. You get it with Barefoot Nautique graphics, or you get it with Excel graphics. So it just, it was, uh, it was interesting how they did that. Um, it does have a 2000... 23 Trailmaster um, trailer, twin disc brakes, spare tire, uh, custom fit, and toes extremely nice. Beautiful teak strips down the bow. You can around the transom again and I'll pop my shoes off. We'll go through the interior. Teak's in really good snuff it's not been sanded to an inch of its life where the screws are popping through so as we look at the interior overall the whole cockpit area is original this sun pad is not original but has 
You can tell it's not original because it's not a dual steam right here. But we just have some weird staining on it and it's made it a little splotchy. I'd like to see it out in the sun after a while and see if the um, UV would make it not that all splotchy. But it is very soft. I don't know how old the, the reskin is, but it's been, it's been there for a minute. As we come to the interior, it's, the interior is interesting to me because it is original but stained. So the white luster is, uh, is, has been stained around the top. You can see it's just a little, little brown. But I had a hard time to, you know, not redoing this or, or keeping this, even though it's stained, because all the original 1991 factory stitching is here. All the foam is in really good condition. Um, but the vinyl just has some imperfections, like where somebody left a vice grip. That's what it looks like. Um, it's just stained in there. We did not use any harsh chemicals to try to take it out, just to try not to damage it. But as, as we all know, this bolster just blows out if it's been not cared for or um, the stitching and everything really starts blowing out on it. You can tell that the um, this is really nice. You can just, actually, this has no imperfections in it. When this starts to dry out, this all this starts to rip away, and the 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 maybe the stitching is still there, but it starts peeling away. Um, we just have the fading of the the red craft stitching. As we come around to the combing pads and the helm, this boat originally was optioned from the factory with no stereo. The previous owner, the two previous owners ago, or whoever put a stereo in it and they cut a hole in the in the glove box so uh, it had a, like a, a cassette deck in there so we replaced that with this clarion head unit with a uh, that has bluetooth and then um the speakers that were in here were just like outdoor speakers that were hanging out on the ground so we cut the holes in the vinyl and installed the JL Audio uh, speakers in there. Uh, it has a really nice sound. Um, while we have those all off, the combing pads, the wood that's back there just looks like it's brand spanking new and is in really good, really good snuff. As we come and open this up, gas shock holds it up because we replaced it. The carpet is in tremendous condition. We have a 10 inch subwoofer up there and a JL Audio amp. Just a really nice example of something that came from 1991. While we were in the, the back and updating everything, we did update the helm to a rack helm instead of the old winding one. And it has a new tilt unit on it. All the gauges were a little faded and the tack didn't work. So to make everything match, we did replace everything with Faria um, and twin GPS speedos. Even put a clock in there. That turns off with the ignition button. The engine that's in it does have 4.8 hours on it. We replaced the factory um, warning system with the new unit. Uh, it's like almost like an OB, ODB, OBD um, that communicates with the motor. That is an engine code, and then this is if something detrimental is going on with the engine. You can see it fire up that way. So uh, we replaced the factory mount, which was garbage, with a new style from like a 2012, 2013 Nautique. And it's, it works really nice on that. So as we come to the back, we took out the factory 
351 and installed a six liter 409 horsepower uh, partially closed cooled motor in order we've done a handful of these on on v drives or on barefoot nautiques and the water pickup is right here underneath the motor and in order to clean the motor and, cl and clean the install up um, the exhaust runs down and around and goes right out the back of the boat and so we fill in that water input or the water intake and install a new water intake back here and put the, the strainer bowl here. Also, when we do this, we increase the water, water flow line and actually put a scoop on the bottom of the boat. It increases the flow to the motor and uh, overall has a, has a much, um, we have a lot more cooling aspect with the motor. But uh, brand new bilge paint, you know, just go around and really clean the boat up and it is a very nice example the boat run runs approximately 55 miles per hour with one person in it and is an awesome barefoot boat if you have any more questions about this beautiful barefoot nautique we do have a running footage of it on the water and we go through the exact same stuff but you actually get to see out on the water and it's and see it operating but give us a call at n3 boat works 317 845-9253 and we can give you more details about this beautiful 1991 Nautique XL.